Bad Love and Never Love SV here with another live reaction to the beginning after the end. This week we're reading chapter 151, Sinodo Vibes. Last chapter we saw Arthur's parents, Ray and Alice, continue to have the tough conversation regarding what they learned about Arthur's true nature. And the cliffhanger was we saw that boy Arthur and Winsome finally reach the castle of the Indraft. So we're going to see Arthur start his training. We'll see what it looks like. So let's hop into that because I'm ready. T bait, chapter 151. Humbled. Let's go. Oh my God. Humbled? What's about to happen, bro? So we see, we see our, our boy Arthur just standing on this leg with the cherry blossoms falling down. They're just walking down this path. And bro, when I tell you this place is gorgeous, bro. With the cherry blossoms everywhere, like, man. We see another beautiful shot of, like, the, the, the entryway of the castle. Like, we see dragons, a couple of dragon statues just laying over that shit. Damn, it looks gorgeous, man. Ooh. So, Arthur and Sylvie looking quite, looking a little nervous. Arthur got a little bit of sweat down his face, and Sylvie's just, like, wrapped up in Arthur's arms. There aren't any guards or watchmen. They've been watching us ever since we crossed the bridge. Mm, you see? They've been watching, bro. They've, they've been watching us ever since we crossed the bridge. Bro. Now, come. We shouldn't keep Lord Indarf waiting. Jesus, so we're going to meet Indarf right now? Oh, my God. Yo, Indraf, boy. This castle, man. Wow. So we open, open the doors. We step inside. Winsome and Arthur. Winsome obviously leading the way. Arthur looks. The inside is gorgeous as well, bro. Beautiful like red and gold trimming everywhere along this hallway it's gleaming bro so this is sylvia's home arthur thinks back to lady so grandma sylvia this is sylvia's home any last tips any last tips before meeting this almighty this almighty lord of lords sylvie's uh grandfather Unfortunately, even I do not know what to expect. This situation is rather peculiar after all. True. So even Winsome doesn't know what to expect right here. Bring Arthur to um, Lord Indraf. Jesus. They continue walking. We see two people in front of this door now. Some guards we see. Winsome, Arthur. Oh my God, they look sick. Yo, who? Okay, so we see two guards in like this white clothing, short hair, and they have kind of like these gold markings on their face. The one on the right, particular, the, the, the girl with the green hair looks so sick. I love her design. Elder Winsome, I see you finally bought the, you finally brought the human boy. It is, a, it, is it appropriate for a human child to be carrying the princess? What? Who do you think you are? What? That's Arthur's, Arthur's daughter. That's Arthur's kid. What are you talking about? Bro, what? Let it be. Let it be, Cygnus. They are bonded. Yeah, bum. Now, are you going to let us in or not? <laughs> they look at each other they go ah, whatever they turn around whoosh they open the doors and arthur looks on just like nervous bro because again we don't know what the fuck to expect here man we really have no idea what to expect here whoosh Creak. door creaks open Winsome and Arthur start walking into this giant throne room, bro. Oh my goodness. 
again gold pillars everywhere like this place is fancy fancy bro fancy fancy jesus see a long walk up to this throne and then we see lord indraft sitting in the throne oh fuck we see the man looking nonchalant bro cool calm collected just over here doing the thinker just like and hey, what's going on my lord winsome kneels so i guess arthur finna kneel as well my lord stand so this is lord indarth indraft excuse me his aura i can't sense it at all you know the nigga buff you know he's buff dude doom oh shit what the fuck happened so boom something happens and like arthur's beast will kind of like awakens and like he gets the kind of markings on his face as well in his arms and he goes what's going on it's burning holy shit arthur's hands are shaking looking at his hands are shaking thud boom he hits the deck ah <sighs> he goes sigh this guy sighs <gasps> oh my god he just took sylvie so boom he makes arthur touch grass in lord indar in in draft sighs and next thing we know sylvie is gone out of arthur's hands she's just nowhere to be found he goes, what? Arthur looks up. How did he? What? How am I not allowed? He goes, oh my goodness. How did he? goes, what? Am I not allowed to embrace my own granddaughter? Nigga, you could have asked, bro. Like, what? You could have just asked. This man's like, yo, nah. These dudes are crazy. These Asuras are crazy, bro. Niggas said, oh, am I not allowed to embrace my granddaughter? Boy. Son. I see you have done nothing to train her. Her mana levels are in insultingly low. And by now, she appears to have gone into a hibernating state right now. It seems that you have strained her. This man grits his teeth. Arthur grits his teeth. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? My apologies, my lord. I should have trained the Lady Sylvie while I was in the Cathan. If it is if it is to your liking, I can start training her now as well. No need. I will personally look after Sylvie. What? Arthur clenches his fist. Nigga's tight, obviously. Boy's pissed. Oh my god. So in so Lord in Indraf um taps Sylvie's face. She twitches, she jolts up in this man's lap. And then what? He just like locks eyes with her? And then she gets little purple eyes as well, like, so she can't, I guess she can't fight him. He goes, Q, Papa, where am I? And he goes, we're a bit far away, Sylph. How are you feeling? Sleepy. Can I go back to sleep? Nod. He nods. Oh, Sylvie, please. <laughs> Lord Indraf. When... Elder Winston already explained what is needed of me, but he has yet to fill me in on why exactly I was brought here. If it was simply for training purposes, wouldn't some remote dungeon in the Cathin have been a suitable place? Um, so, we, so Arthur wants to know. He really realizes that there has to be some other reason why they brought him all the way, all the way here, you know? Why bring me to the land of deities? Hmm. I have deemed you a necessary piece to help us against Agrona and his growing army. 
I take it that you have already understood the mutual benefit in winning the approaching war, yes? Yo, I ain't gonna cap though. Lord, I love Lord Indar and Draft's fucking design, bro. Lord Indraft's design is so fire. Oh my god. It will be most beneficial to assign several specialists to help Winsome in training you in your training during your stay here. Think of it as an honor since only the most talented of the younger generations have res would receive the training you will go through. Mm. Nigga said, consider it an honor. Yo, this nigga, I don't know. He got a weird vibe, bro. Like, you know how these deities are? Like, he's the lord of the deities, like, right now? Like, he's the king of this whole castle? So he got a weird vibe, bro. I don't know. Nigga said, consider it an honor. How will you know when the war approaches? How much time do we have? Do we even have? That is for me to worry about. Focus on your training and I will notify Winsome when it is time for you to go back to your homeland. Wait, what about Sylvie? So he, Winsome grabs Arthur and Indraft says she will stay with me until her training is over. What? How long will that take? When will I get to see her? Let's go, Winsome says. Oh my God, they're breaking up the bond, the duo. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. And we see they're just walking away. Sylvie is just snoozing right now. And we cut away. Oh man. Man, humbled, humbled for the title of this chapter was correct, bro. Because... We definitely just got humbled right now, bro. This boy in draft is a problem. Like, yo. That shit is crazy. Uh. So we cut away. We see more. We see another oh, outside shot of these cherry blossoms and more vines. I still don't get the, pointing, the point of that meeting. Hmm. Being judged by Lauren Indraf can take. I can take. But I was not prepared for Sylvie to be taken. The relationship you and the relationship between you and the Osiris is, let's say, a grudging tolerance. Huh. Huh. So I wonder if they are just tolerating him because of like what happened with Sylvia when he was a child, like getting the beast will and then being gifted Sylvie, you know? So I wonder if that's why they don't like him. Let's say it's a grudging tolerance. Because of that, our Lord chose to make this meeting private. Oh, so the other, so the other Asuras don't fuck with this man, Arthur, a mere, a quote unquote, mere human. The very fact that we have no choice but to rely on a lesser being is a wound to our pride. Do not worry. Both you and Lady Sylvie will not be mistreated. That's interesting, bro. And I guess it does make sense because they are quote unquote higher beings, quote unquote deities, right? And they're like having no choice, like he says, having no choice but to, to, to but to rely on someone who they no doubt deem lesser than them has to be a fucking hit to their pride. So I guess it makes sense when he puts it that way. You are both very important to us. I believe, I believe the words Lord Indraft said used were a necessary piece in the war, but same thing, I, get, I guess. <laughs> we're here. This man, Winsome, grabs out of his arm. We're here. Hold on tightly. What? We've been walking for hours just to train here? Boom. So he pushes Arthur and Arthur goes face first into this like tree, but the tree, like, it's not like a solid tree. Like he, like the tree liquefies and he goes through it. Some weird portal, hey, hey, hey! You see some weird portal, boom, thud. So we see 
he lands in some kind of cave. We see like a little glowing pool of water. It's good to see you again, Cordry. So Winston pops up. It is nice seeing you as well, Elder Winsome. So Arthur looks on, sees some guy, some kind of silhouetted shadow in the corner. You must be the human, Arthur Lewin, correct? Ooh, this guy is kind of sick, though. What's this guy's name again? Cordry. Yo, Cordry looks kind of tight, bro, with the, ta the kind of like tats on his arms. Slick, bald head, like, okay. Arthur, this is my close friend, Cordry. He, he is of the Theatus clan, uh, of the Pantheon Asura race, just like Aldir. No, 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 N nice to meet you. Winsome, Winsome, has Lord Indraft truly granted you the Aether Orb? He has. Oh my god. So we see like some little orb that Winsome has. Like, like a little world in his hand. Lord Indreth is truly investing much into this human. Okay, yeah. He goes, Lord Indreth is truly investing much into this human. So I'm guessing that orb is going to somehow help with Arthur's training. Um... What exactly is this Aether Orb? Yeah, you see, it'll help you. It'll help your training immensely. We will be borrowing. We will be borrowing the Dragon's Race's ability to influence Aether, a powerful element that flows through and influence the entire universe. Using the using the orb to separate the body from the soul. Whoa. So basically what I'm getting at right now, or what I'm getting from this, I should say, is this orb is gonna head, let Arthur like astral project his soul out of his body to help his training? Is that what's gonna happen? As well as power to manipulate time, okay? Here we go, okay. I was, I was thinking that at some point we were gonna get something like this like a kind of hyperbolic time chamber-esque thing where time or, and stuff moves differently so Arthur can get like crazy amount of training in like a different amount of time. I would, you know, it's a classic, it's a classic thing in stories, these kind of stories. Yep, I'm sorry, what? Arthur says. Yeah, you see, it's only right that we get something like that, you know? It's only right. He's like, I'm sorry, what? Along with the orb, Lord Indraf has allowed us to use his exclusive training grounds. Oh my god. Bro, we're using the Lord's training grounds? Okay, so when they said he was investing a lot, they weren't joking. Jeez. Wow. Wow. The aether-rich liquid inside this pond will help accelerate your training and heal wounds that you will incur throughout this process. That you will incur. Like, you, you will get hurt, bro. You will get hurt. But this water will help you heal your wounds, bro. Wait, what's going on? We see the water just start swirling around this boy, Arthur. And then we see Winsome just smiling between the waves. You will soon see. And then the chapter ends. God damn it. Winsome. Come on. Don't do this to me, bro. You're talking about you will see. You will soon see. Bro. Come on, bro. Man, I can't wait. This training, like I just I just want to see what it's gonna look like, bro. Because now we know it's obviously going to be harsh training. The boy even said it like, you will incur injuries, bro. Like, you will get hurt. Like, man. Bro, I feel like all these chapters seem mad short, bro. But I don't know. 
I think it's just because it goes so fast. But, like, a lot of shit happened in this chapter. Like, the whole, the whole conversation and the whole meeting with this guy really just shows us, like, the kind of fucking strength these Asuras have. Especially this guy in draft, bro. My lord. Like, the way he just, like, he turned on this man Arthur's Beast Will... You was like, I assume it was gravity magic, but I'm not entirely sure. I assume it was to make Arthur touch grass and then just scooped up Sylvie in an instant without anybody noticing, without, without this man Arthur knowing what even happened. So I'm just, like I said, I'm curious on the training, bro. I'm curious on Sylvie's training and curious on Arthur's training as well. Like when Sylvie, when we see Sylvie again, she going to be on some crazy shit, bro. Crazy, man. I can't wait to see this fucking training, man. This training, bro. Like when our boy Arthur levels up, he's going to be such a problem, like I don't think we get it. He's going to be such an issue. It's crazy. But, ah, uh, man. I can't wait for the next week. When we finally see this training start, it's really going to be fucking sick. So, if you made it to the end of this live reaction, I appreciate you so much. This John, I said, it's, it's steady getting crazier, bro. Each chapter, we keep, keep moving forward. So, if you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helped me a lot. Also, sub to the channel. I'm different. I'm bringing different live reactions every week but yeah i'm gonna see y'all next week for more t-bait i'm gonna see y'all soon stay safe out in these streets and i'm gonna see y'all later peace <laughs>